Hey, what is going on, CF Kids? Thank you so much for joining us today as we are in a series called Countdown to Christmas. Whoever, I know you guys are excited for Christmas. I'm excited for Christmas. It's gonna be an amazing time. Today we have something special for you guys to listen to when it comes to the Word of God. But really quick, I wanna open up sharing a story of my childhood because if you were like me, you absolutely love playing outside or playing sports in general, right? Maybe that's you, wherever campus you're watching from or even online. I love playing outside in my neighborhood because we would always play all types of sports with the other neighborhoods around us, right? And so we would play basketball, we would play football, we would play baseball. You name the sport, we were playing it. I was athletic to say the least. I'm not trying to give myself a pat on the back, but you feel me? But man, we had a friend in our friend group that would play football, basketball, and all that. His name was Emmanuel. Now, we would call him E-Man. So if your name is Emmanuel, what a crazy nickname. That's a nickname that is like one of the best in the world, E-Man. So E-Man was our friend. He was a part of our, our, our team. Now, E-Man was the best athlete. He would jump the highest. He would run the fastest. He would never drop the ball. If we were playing basketball, this dude would throw it up from the three. You would think he's Steph Curry. I'm telling you, dude was awesome. So E-Man was on our team. And we would already celebrate before we would play the other teams because E-Man was on our team. He was with us. He was on our team. Now the other teams, they would always talk smack, right? They were like, oh, we're gonna beat you, whether it was football, basketball, didn't matter. Like, we're gonna beat you guys, we're gonna do this. Until the day came that we played and they saw how great E-Man was. We would throw the ball, he would catch it. Even they were mesmerized. They're like, oh my goodness, how is he catching this football? What kind of offense does he have on basketball? He would do crazy layups, spinning backwards, under the legs, doing all types of things. Super athletic, E-Man was the best. Best athlete I've ever seen, even to this day probably, right? And that was my friend. But we would always laugh when the teams would talk smack the day before and they're like, oh, we're gonna beat you, we're gonna do this. We would stay quiet because we knew we had E-Man and E-Man was with us. He was on our team and he was the best of the best. Now, why do I say that? I need everybody, if you're watching right now, I need you to put your thinky caps on, right? Because we're gonna read a passage today. As we get closer and closer to Christmas, we're gonna see why we celebrate Christmas. What's super important about Christmas? So if you have your Bibles, we're gonna be in Matthew chapter one, starting at verse 22 and verse 23. Now this is what the Word of God says. It says this, all this took place to bring about what the Lord had said would happen. He had said that the prophet, the virgin is going to have a baby, that's Jesus. She will give birth to a son and he will be called Emmanuel. The name Emmanuel means God is with us. Now God is with us. When we think about the Christmas season, obviously our minds probably go to a great Christmas tree or presents and gifts under the tree and how, uh, 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 lights all over the, the, the house. But in reality, we celebrate because God is with us. Jesus is with us. Matter of fact, I love that statement because you can make it personal. I can say, God is with Alex. You can say, God is with, and put your name in it. It's a very personal statement. Like as Christmas comes, we realize that God is with us everywhere we go, no matter what you're going through in your life, CF kids. Second grade, third grade, whatever test you might be having, whatever it is, God is with you. Matter of fact, at all of our campuses, I want you to do this, even online. We're gonna say, God is with, and you put your name in it. Fill in your name so you can feel how personal it is. We're gonna say, God is with Alex. So right there where you're at, scream your name as loud as you can. God is with, that's right, there you go, say your name. Let's do it again, louder, louder this time. God is with, there you go. God is with you, God is with me, God is with, us in this Christmas season and we can celebrate the same way we celebrated because E-Man was on our team because we knew we were going to win. Same way we can celebrate Christmas because God is with us and God is for us in this Christmas season. That's why we celebrate. Matter of fact, it's one thing to think about it and always know, oh, God is with us. But what we're gonna do, it's another thing to see it all the time. And we're gonna give out these bracelets right there where you're at. We're gonna give out these bracelets. So not only do you know that God is with you, but every time you put that bracelet on, you can see every day, no matter what you're going through, that God is with you, He is for you, and He'll never leave you. God is with us. And speaking of giveaways, I'm gonna announce something crazy right now because I'm super excited. Christmas is around the corner, and I thought to myself, what if we do something big? And so we're gonna give away a Nintendo Switch after Christmas. That's right, one big Nintendo Switch at all of our campuses 
And this is how you enter your name into the raffle. You have to, from this Sunday, you have to come to every Sunday, including Christmas Eve. That means if next Sunday your mom and dad is sleeping on the bed and they're like, we're not gonna go to church today, you better go and wake them up and say, no, 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 I gotta go to church, mom, because I need to put my name in the attendance so I can be in the raffle to win a Nintendo Switch. And we're gonna say the announcement at the end of Christmas, so make sure you come, not only today, right? but next Sunday and the following Sunday so your name can be entered into a raffle to win a Nintendo Switch, all right? So if you're excited, look at your neighbor and say, I'm excited. That's right, I'm excited. So with that being said, I love you guys. God bless you. Have a great Sunday.